life. Death. Defiance. A brand new university. Who are you gonna play with the puppy? Hello my people, my name is Meacham. Welcome to the SCORE channel. Today I am your Dean of Tininess. We're going to be looking at some very tiny universities today. I know that when it comes to university, we tend to think bigger is better, like we do with a lot of things. Size doesn't matter, people. It's how you use it. And that's the truth with these universities today. They might be tiny, but they know how to use it. Let's start with puppies. <laughs> the good boy. Who's the good boy with the puppies? You're the best boy. You're the what if you could major? in puppies. Bergen University of Canine Studies is a tiny university located in, of course, California, where you can study one major and one major only, canine studies. In fact, this university requires you to get a puppy when you start there. I'm not making this up. The first day of class, you adopt a dog from the university and you will apply everything you learn to that dog from day one until you graduate with your dog. I wonder if you get lower grades if you don't pick up your dog shit. Have one professor who is the professor for the whole university. And even though it is an accredited legitimate program, it's very specific. Like you either come here because you love dogs and you want to work with dogs the rest of your life or you just don't come here. All right, maybe you're a cat person or maybe you just want to make some serious bang when you get out of college. Let me introduce you to one of the most exclusive small colleges in the United States, Harvey Mudd College. This small private college in California only has about 900 undergraduates. It's one of the most expensive universities in the United States, but it also is one of the most valuable because graduates from Harvey Mudd make a ton of money. I don't know if this is like some sort of secret society, like Harvey Mudd Illuminati, where like you get in and you drink the blood and the adrenochrome and the next thing you know, you're gonna make bank, but like Harvey Mudd College, Freaking expensive, but you also make a ton of money. It's actually ranked as the second most valuable degree on pay scale, which takes a look at your earnings throughout life versus how much you spend on university. And it's literally right up there with MIT. It takes dough to make bread, man. All right, guys, I got some bad news, all right? Everyone, including you, is gonna die. Happens eventually. Every good book needs an ending. Death might make a lot of people sad, but it does make one group particularly happy. And that's the graduates of the Cincinnati College of Mortuary Sciences. I mean, look, guys, people are gonna die whether you like it or not. So you might as well make some money when people are dying. Things are going so well at CCMS that they're actually constructing an educational crematorium center where you're gonna get to practice incinerating dead pets before you move on to like real people. You don't want to partially burn up grandma's ashes and then have to like send the second pack of ashes later and be like, hey, I'm sorry, I missed a spot. You don't want to be that guy. Now they have less than 100 students at any given time at this college because I mean, how many people really want to work with dead bodies the rest of their life? But if you're a normal person that just happens to be fascinated by helping the dead return to the earth, CCMS. Go there. Maybe you don't want to be in the business of handling freshly dead corpses. Like maybe you want to handle them after the mortuary has done its thing. You want to put them on display in a room, invite a bunch of the dead person's family over so that they can cry and tell stories and talk about the dead person. That sounds like a funeral home. And if you want to be a director of a funeral home, you can go to the Mid-America College of Funeral Services. Again, just like some of the other colleges on this list, they only have one major, which is a bachelor of Science in Funeral Services. I didn't realize that you really needed to get like certified to run a funeral home, but it turns out that there are a lot of rules actually for running a funeral home. You don't just get to, you know, put a dead body in your living room and then tell people to come on over. I tried that. It wasn't good. All right, I think we've talked enough about death. Let's move on to life. Life University in Atlanta is basically the exact opposite of the last two universities. Life University focuses on wellness and health programs. They started out as a university that only taught people how to become chiropractors. Now they have a lot of different degrees related to human biology, nutrition, dietary studies, all sorts of stuff to help you be a better version of yourself, you know? Really become like the person that you're meant to be, man. And also curiously, Life University has a really good athletics program, which I guess makes sense because like if everybody who goes there is studying like healthy topics, it makes sense that they would be taking good care of themselves and they would be good athletes. If you're an athlete 
who wants to learn about wellness and nutrition and sports medicine or anything like that, check out Life University in Atlanta. I made this list with a simple rule. You had to have less than 1,000 undergraduate students. Life University had 957. They just made it in. But how about a university with zero students. Yes, we're talking about a brand new university that is opening its doors very soon. The New U University. I for one am very curious about this. New U University is going to be located right in downtown Washington DC, literally just around the corner from the White House and Washington Monument and the whole National Mall. Like they have an incredible location in an amazing city and they're gonna be one of the cheapest options for students. They're only gonna charge students $15,000 a year. And that's not even the craziest part. You're gonna graduate in three years. It's the first university in the United States to ever openly encourage students to graduate in three years. New U University's trick to getting you to graduate in three years is to extend the length of their semesters, which allows their courses to accumulate an extra credit. And when you add up those extra credits over three years, you literally can eliminate two semesters and graduate sooner. Now that is awesome. New U University is literally promising a full bachelor's degree program for $45,000, which in the United States is extremely difficult to do unless you get like a really good in-state tuition deal, maybe from one of the universities that I talked about in the previous Dean's List, you know, you could check that out too. I really wanna go see New U University. New U, if you're watching this, hit me up. I'm gonna hit you up. Next time I'm in DC, I'm going, we're doing a university episode, has to happen. I am fascinated whenever a new university hits the streets and I wanna learn more about these guys. It's kinda difficult to like, pick universities for this list. But when you see a cool name, you go with it. And I saw Defiance University. And I said, I have questions. Turns out this university is connected to Batman. Batman. Batman didn't go to Defiance, but the thing is, Defiance is named after a fort, Fort Defiance, okay? And the guy that ran the fort, his last name was Wayne, all right? Think about it. One of the creators of Batman, Bill Finger, yeah, Finger, that guy. He cited this dude Wayne, Mad Anthony Wayne, as an inspiration for Batman, Bruce Wayne. So maybe if you go to Defiance, you'll be like Batman. I have nothing more to say about this university other than it has a cool name and there's a relationship to Batman. Let's move on. One of the reasons I like to highlight small universities is that they can do certain things really well. I mean, if all you do is focus on one thing, like Milwaukee School of Engineering, you get good at that one thing. And that is totally true of the Compass College of Film and Media. Compass College is located in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where there happens to be an annual film festival, one of the bigger ones in the country. Students at Compass College get to practice making films in a nice city that supports filmmaking and then exhibit their works to a film festival, which I think is pretty cool because you can study film in a lot of other places and maybe never get the opportunity to show your work to an audience. So even though it's a small college in a small town, you've got a lot of opportunities. Here's a university that is tiny that you have definitely heard of. It's Juilliard. Juilliard's technically a conservatory, but like it counts. They admit degrees. Degrees are degrees, regardless of where you get them, as long as they're accredited, which these are. It counts. Juilliard is known to be the best place to study drama. Many famous actors like Adam Driver have come from Juilliard. It's also got a great program for music and other kinds of arts. So if you're into arts, performing arts especially, Juilliard is obviously like one of the best places you can go. But of course, it's also extremely difficult to get into Juilliard. I mean, it's almost Harvard-like with a 7.6% acceptance rate. I mean, Juilliard even takes their eliteness to like another level. They don't go, oh, graduating class of 2022. Nah, nah, nah. They number them as groups, okay? Kylo Ren graduated in group 38, for example. And a single group might only have about 100 students, which definitely makes them belong on this list. I mean, this is a tiny university for a very specific purpose, but it has produced some very amazing people. But it's not as exclusive as the last university on our list. Okay, my people, come closer. 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 They're listening, man. They're watching me, man. They're listening, man. You gotta watch out. We're not even supposed to be talking about this university, man. And IU, the National Intelligence University. It's literally a spy school. I'm not making this up. The National Intelligence University is a university dedicated to teaching people how to become spies. Okay, I mean, look at the cover of the, of the website, the picture. It's like the spy versus spy. 
it outlines. It's this is clearly a spy school and I want to go, but I can't because I am not an active military member. Okay. And I don't have a recommendation from one of my superiors that says I should go to the NIU. That's how you get in. You got to be active military and one of your superiors has to be like, yeah, Meacham's cool. You can trust him. He's not going to leak national secrets to Russia. Go ahead and send him to NIU. He would make a great spy. Side note, my dad said I would make a great spy. Because for years, I pretended to follow a particular religion when I didn't really believe it. I was so good at convincing everyone that I was a true believer that everyone was shocked when I announced that I didn't actually feel that way. And it got me thinking, maybe I would be a good spy. I mean, do you even know if my name is Meacham? Have you thought about that? Why am I in Peru? Think about it. Wikipedia says that NIU has 700 students, but I think they're pumping the numbers, guys. I mean, let's think about it, right? First of all, it's a spy school. Why would they put the exact number on Wikipedia? You think they would do that? Of course not. Why do you put it there? You want the Chinese and the Ruskies and the North Koreans, you want them to think that you have a lot of spies. So you put a pretty chonky number like 700 spies in the spy school. So the opponents are like, oh dang man, they got a lot of spies, they got a lot of spies. But in reality, I bet you it's a way smaller number. Cause think about it, man. You got 700 spies, that's too many spies. Somebody's gonna leak some information. I saw the Bourne trilogy. They didn't have that many spies in Treadstone. All right, I think I've said enough though. I gotta get out of here before I hear a knock on the door. Oh, bye.